everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery and welcome to Flip Cup Friday. That's what I'm calling it. I'm going back to basics. And if you are a beginner acrylic pour painter, this is the video for you. Uh, flip cups are one of the first pours that you should give a try. Um, play with your consistency of your paints. Uh, see how the paints interact with one another and it's not a real difficult pour to do. So first of all, I'm going to go over my pouring medium. There's a lot of questions about pouring mediums. My pouring medium today is 50% Liquitex pouring medium, 40% American Floetrol, and 10% water. Now, some of you may ask, do I have to use a Liquitex pouring medium? No. Just try Floetrol in your paint. I would say two parts Floetrol to one part paint, and then thin it with water. You do not have to use that Liquitex pouring medium. I'm using it today because I had that mixed up. Let's go over my paints. And again, I've tried to choose paints that are readily available for beginners without having to spend a whole lot of money. My first one is Master's Touch Crimson. Master's Touch is the line that you can um, buy at Hobby Lobby and they can be inexpensive. My next paint is Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green and Artist Loft is a paint you can get at Michael's and again, can be uh, inexpensive. Use your coupons at Michael's. Okay, Pebio is a paint I did get online, um, a little bit more expensive, and this is the lemon, lemon Cadmium Yellow Hue. My next paint is Amsterdam, and it, actually these two paints I mixed together, the Pebio, lemon and the amsterdam and the amsterdam is reflex orange and let me show you that color a very pretty light 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 orange and i'll show you consistency right away i left my paints on the thicker side because we are doing a little bit of a we're doing that flip cup today and my last paint again is the master's touch Phalo Blue, again, that is a Hobby Lobby paint. And I am going to add my base coat, which is this Artist Law Flow Acrylic White that I get at Michael's. And that's just the white. I'm going to be adding it th uh, throughout that the layers of my cups. I'm going to be using three cups for my flip cup today. This is a, if I haven't mentioned it yet, it is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Oh, and there is one more paint that I used and that's the Blick Turquoise. Blick is an online company that you can order from. And again, their prices are pretty reasonable. Um, now, a lot of beginners wanna get cells. So I normally don't try and get cells in my painting, but today I'm going to do that. And what I'm using is called Boom Booster Boom Gel Stain Cell Enhancer. This I did get online on Amazon, and it is alcohol-based. It is not an oil-based silicone. So you still do have to clean your canvas off after it's dry, but not to the length you have to do when you use an oil-based silicone, especially if you're going to resin your paintings. I normally don't resin my bigger paintings, some of my smaller ones I do, but I usually use a spray varnish, <clears throat> a couple of coats of a spray varnish on my um, dried paintings to get the shiny effect. So what I'm going to do is uh, stop the camera. I'm going to put my base coat down on my Flow Acrylic White, and I am going to fill my three cups in no particular order, just from the side, I'm going to fill my three cups. I'll bring you back and then we'll start painting. OK, 
Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat of my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down. And now I'm going to do a torch. And for those of you out there that aren't familiar with why do we torch, we bring up air bubbles. If you don't do that in the beginning, um, later on, you will have these air bubbles coming up and leaving little white um, spots on your painting. If you have the opportunity to, I would suggest you mix your paints the night before you're going to paint. That way it gives them time to settle and a lot of those air bubbles will come out. These paints I'm using today though, unfortunately I just mixed those like within the last hour, so I'm going to have some air bubbles. Again, I forgot to mention how much Boom Booster uh, Boom Gel Stain Cell Enhancer did I use? I used only one drop in each of my colors, including the white that I sandwiched in between the colored paints. Here's one of my cups. See how I layered it. And for the flip cup, it's just uh, basically that. Just flip it over. And I'm going to leave it just sit there for a minute. And while we're uh, waiting for that, those paints to drip down in the cups, I'll tell you how I put my base coat down. I take a little spongy brush and I go around my outside to make sure that all my edges and my corners are covered. And then I use this uh, little OXO spatula that you can get on Amazon. And it's really nice for spreading your paint nice and smooth. Just trying to give you some uh, little hints here. Some of the equipment that you can buy if needed. And sometimes you'll see artists just tap their cups. Some will poke a hole in the top of the cups and that will really make the paint run down, but I'm not going to do that today. So let's just start with the first cup here. I just twist my cup a little bit as I'm pulling it down. I'm just gonna let it rest there, let some of that paint come out. You can see some of the cells coming up already. There's the second cup. And here's the third cup. I am getting quite a bit of cell action, as you can see. Just gonna let that paint rest just for one second here. Nice bright colors here we're working with. Okay, again, I'm gonna just do a little torch here. And you can see all these cells coming up. It sounds like I am running out of uh, juice in my uh, torch there. So let's do some tipping. And you can take your time with your tipping. Being mindful of what you do want to keep on the painting and what you don't want to. I'll take some paint off of this corner here. And then bring it back. I 
Okay. And I hope that you are seeing most of this process here. Just moving the paint on down. My base coat was not real thick, but I did want to put enough paint on there to help this paint, the colored paint move. I'm gonna go straight down now and run a little paint off and try and get to this corner. What you can do too is you can use your hand or a piece of cardboard to bring that paint back onto the canvas. Okay, just gonna have a look at it here. I'm gonna try and run the paint off of this far edge here. and bring it back. And I'm going to run a little bit more off this bottom here in this corner. Still have quite a bit of paint on my canvas so I can afford to do that. Okay, now I'm going to get this far corner here. It is starting to run a little bit slower. Okay. You can always use your finger to help your paint on your edge like that. Just taking a look at the painting here now. Seeing what I do and I do not like. And at this point, if you do see something in your painting, like a glob of paint or a hair or whatever, now's the time to take it out because it will affect how the paint moves. I'm bringing, my, um, bringing it all down now. I'm really liking the dark blue, the red, and the yellow. I'm not so crazy about this area right in here. So I am going to try and stretch and stretch some of that off.
okay? And now I will bring that back. I'm liking that better. I'm going to bring it down this way a bit. Just trying to give it a little more interest here. Okay, take a look at it now. I'm going to work on my edge a little bit here. Just fill it in. What you can do is run your finger under your painting and find the paint that uh, matches the white spots that you may have on your edges and fill those in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to fill my um, torch and I'll be right back and we'll torch this and see what else comes up. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've filled my torch. So let's give it a torch and see if we get any more cells that come up. Oh, yeah, a lot of little cells coming up here. You can see that that uh, Boom Booster cell enhancer is very, very, very active. And that's what this is all an experiment for you beginners here very reactive product. I could have probably even gone with less, just every other color, or maybe just one or two colors here. But that is definitely a lot of cells. I'm going to, let's just give it a second or two here to develop. And then I'll bring you down for a close-up. In the meantime, I can show you what you can do. Or just take a one of your palette knives to clean off the bottom. That way it won't pull the paint that is on the canvas off. And okay, let's get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and I'm trying to show you the whole painting here. And this is the upper left-hand corner. Just take you down the left-hand side. Really cute cells in there. I like the yellow cells that popped up with the red around them. And this is the lower left-hand corner. And I'll take you over the whole painting. It's a nice area in here. No matter what product you use for um, cells, whatever silicone you decide to use, this is kind of the effect you would get, depending on how much you add to your paints. As you can see, this one kind of went crazy. interesting in here and I really love this streak of the yellow that that stayed I really think that that makes the whole painting the eye is just drawn to that to that area and I'll take it over to the upper right hand corner here 
and down the right hand side. And here is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Thank you for spending time with me on this video today. I hope you've learned something. And uh, until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.